this latest policing friendship tour to um, Frankfurt and here I am at the uh, General Police Equipment uh, Exhibition, GPEC, uh, with Jens Rumschussel. Uh, Jens, correct me on my pronunciation of your it surname. Sounds Hopefully. very, very perfect. That's very Thank kind you, of you. Brother. You are the Director of Sales for Exterra. Oh, and um, we were talking a little earlier about uh, why Extero is at this conference. You have a, um, a digital f forensics product, uh, which when I was first reviewing this, my, my, my expectation was that this was something that would be more of interest to law firms or to the private sector. But you said, you said to me, actually, no, Bernard, this is, more, this is also of interest to police forces. So tell us something about the uh, Extero and what it is that, that you do might, that might be of interest to police forces around the world. Yeah. Thanks, uh, Bernard, for this opportunity. It might be difficult to do it in a few minutes, but uh, I think uh, it's a wide area, and so I want to come straight to the point. The digital forensics is actually a very important part of a police investigation, and uh, this can be only supported with powerful tools, and that are solutions from Xterro, or before it was uh, called, uh, it was um, uh, named under Access Data. So these are, uh, the purpose for it is to investigate data, digital evidences, which are always covered in any uh, case which uh, needs a criminal investigation. Uh, we know nowadays more and more are in uh, our life is uh, moved to the digital Absolutely area. So and everybody cares, carries with a mobile phone more information than you ever can write down in your, in your CV. And that is what, what And there uh, is so indicated. much evidence then from the likes of mobile phones and the like digital forensics clearly key in so much of policing with um, you know so many investigations involving analysis of, of, of mobile phones. So um, you were showing me a, a little earlier this um, a, a, this piece of, of uh, uh, literature uh, that uh, you'll send me a copy and we'll um, drop it into the video. But in essence, four different areas, of which the most recent uh, sector, the digital forensics side, goes along with e-discovery, uh, the cyber security compliance, and the uh, data analysis, I think, side of things. And it's that, that latest addition to the portfolio that is really um, finding a, a place with police forces, is it not? Yeah, actually, uh, this digital forensics completed the portfolio of Xterro. That's why Xterro took over Access Data to complete their uh, portfolio for data governance and compliance with the digital forensics. So, and that's why we are here because this is the main interesting product for police forces, for crime investigations, as well as for fiscal uh, tax fraud investigations in these areas. The other parts of Xterro are uh, important to law firms, to auditing departments, uh, to keep the control over the data in their network. Yeah? Because here then a uh, live data network investigation, which is necessary to follow some uh, wrong being, uh, wrongdoings of uh, employees or from partners in terms of uh, corruption or for uh, terms of uh, uh, in, in terms of uh, competition, competition, uh, fair competition. So these investigations also have a lot of digital investigations necessary, and these are the tools that external provides for. We were looking at your client list, and uh, they include, from memory, the likes of uh, Deloitte and KPMG. Um, also, in in policing, uh, the the Royal Military Police, and a, a recent addition to your client portfolio, or rather, a, a new client from a year ago, but only recently some uh, a, cl a client that you can mention. Uh, so, West Midlands Police in the United Kingdom. So. What sorts of things are you doing with West Midlands Police and with the Royal Military Police? Yeah, especially with, Royal, uh, with West Midland Police, it was a very exciting part of our uh, development. As uh, our newest platform, uh, which is also possible to run into a cloud application, was first time uh, used, applied by a European Police Department at the Midwestland Police. Uh, here in the 
Dach regions, the region of Germany, uh, Austria and Switzerland, where I'm actually responsible for, uh, there is still a very strong resistance in going to the cloud for digital investigations in order to be very safe and isolated. And that's why uh, this will never, at the moment, never, as I told, will happen in a cloud, but uh, behind uh, the thick walls and special networks. But with Midland Police recognize the advantages compared with the possible risks, which is everywhere, and decided for a cloud application, which gives an almost unlimited power of uh, processing, yeah, because in the cloud you can edit, and uh, you don't need to care about hardware and stuff. This is part of the cloud provider, and you can really unveil all the capabilities of the software solution without taking care about the hardware behind. And they are very successful and allowed us also to publish it because this will be an eye opener for some of the other European police departments. Ah, this is possible. Well, I do recall back in the United Kingdom, um, a, a number of years ago, four, maybe five years ago, much resistance to cloud uh, products. It was the industry and, before. And, and that resistance now has diminished, and there is um, many are embracing the cloud with the appropriate security arrangements in place, of course. But that is quite possible to, to put those arrangements uh, in place. Yeah. Now, you're speaking at this conference tomorrow, I, I believe, Jan. So what, what's, what is your, uh, your, your address going to be about? Yeah, here I want to uh, bring across the uh, main advantages which we see our software solution can provide. And this is mainly the capability to handle big data, huge data volumes. Because as I mentioned earlier, the, digital, uh, the crime investigations are covering also digital data now more and more. In a, a usual crime case, you have at least one, two mobile phones, maybe one, two, three uh, computers, the storage data uh, on a NAS or even cloud data. So it goes more and more into terabytes than in gigabytes. This data has to be processed in a very short time frame because there are people uh, depending on it, whether they are uh, seen as guilty or uh, not guilty. This cannot be gone, gone over weeks or months, has been done into days. And this is a technology challenge. And so uh, the target is to provide a solution which can be done fast in processing and also easily in handling. And uh, here we see the dilemma because digital data to find very complicated in different formats and different applications. And this should be found by uh, investigators who are not the IT experts. Just see, show me what I need to see. Yeah? And that's the software is doing with the use of artificial intelligence, with a very powerful uh, processing behind and with an easy to use interface. And that's we are uh, dedicated to provide such solutions for our customers. And that's what I want to bring across tomorrow so that we gain more interest. Well, very best of luck with, with that presentation tomorrow, uh, Jens. It's been an absolute pleasure meeting you here at G uh, GPEC in Frankfurt. Thank and you, I do hope that our paths will cross at some point in the, the near future. But for the time being, Thank you once again uh, here on the Policing Friendship Tour. Thank you, and for you, many success with the Friendship Tour. I like this initiative because this is what we should bring, really bring the people, the police force together to fulfill the target. Indeed so. Thank you again. You're welcome. Bye-bye.